Hey everyone, it's Kristen. A little late on Sunday afternoon for leftover cake chat. Had some business to take care of today, so apologize for the delay. Uh, we are talking bridal party favors. No, gifts. I did this to Aaron this morning. Um, so we are talking actually bridal party and these are these can be some fun things. Oh, hey, Erin, I think you're there. Hey, hi. How are you? Good. Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I was just uh, talking about what we're talking about late today, and I said it wrong. Uh, bridal party gifts, not favors. <laughs> yes, gifts. Um, bridal party gifts. <laughs> yes, and we have seen so many cool things. Um, one of my favorites recently was the bride gave out these super cool men's shirts that they all wore with matching stockings. And there's a picture of it on one of our, either our Instagram or our Facebook page. And she had the monogram. So they were doing their hair and makeup and getting ready and actually had on like long sleeved rolled up button up shirts that were super cute. Everybody had a different color according to their personality and the socks that matched. So that was one of my favorites for the brides. Um, I'm a big fan of personalized stuff. I putting somebody's name on something um, to me. Hi, Jane Brannigan. Thanks for joining us. Um, putting somebody's name on something, it to me just shows that you actually thought about the gift, that you spent some time doing it. Um, it to me, it's just much more obviously personal. Um, <laughs> get it Sorry personalized. For the yeah. noise. I am at the airport, so. I'm in the quietest place I can actually find, but if you hear something, <laughs> it's not like serious. No problem. Um, so then we've seen um, a lot of we, what we do is destination wedding, as most of you watching probably know. I've seen airline gift cards to actually help people with travel, um, spa days when they arrive at the destination uh, that they can be used for either a massage to relax or used for hair and makeup for getting ready, which is a popular one. Sometimes that's a big, that's a big bill <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, for the guys. Um, flasks are always very cool. Um, personalized, of course, and normally full of something that that person likes. <laughs> that's uh, funny. Cigars, cigar cutters, um, cigar holders. That's a big thing with especially in the Keys, people uh, having cigar rollers, it kind of turns into the theme. Um, the robes are popular for girls. Again, they can be monogrammed. The robes, the slippers. Yeah, all of those things. Anything those that, that... Cute for pictures. Definitely cute for pictures. Anything that your bridal party is going to use um, is definitely a great idea for gifts. It helps cut down their costs. They are spending a lot of money for your wedding. Um, so anything that you can do to help them out again, adding their name is great for personalization. Uh, it's, it's a keepsake for them. It's something that they're going to have around and they're going to be able to utilize over and over again. So, um, just think of anything that they can absolutely use. I love the hair and makeup gift. I love jewelries or something like that. Um, just make sure that if you are going to do something like that, you do give it to them ahead of time. Because yeah. you don't want them to, you know, go out and buy jewelry or necklaces or something like that. If you want them all to have matching, you don't want to have them go out and buy something to wear with their dress that you're then going to give them. So timing is important too. Exactly. And the jewelry is a perfect um, example. A lot of times it's monogrammed as well, either their initial or the date of the wedding or something. And if you're wearing that, the dress you're wearing for the wedding, you want to make sure you have that in time for pictures. So we yeah. typically tell people to give their gifts like the night, the day before at a bridesmaids brunch or uh, the night before at the rehearsal dinner. Um, and that includes parent gifts too. So if you're giving parents like handkerchiefs or books or something that they might be reading from on the wedding day, always nice to let somebody prepare before kind of springing it on them. <laughs> so you mean surprises for a wedding isn't good, Kristen? Oh gosh. <laughs> It's been a day. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, so for anybody watching, 
surprises during weddings are not good, especially for the planners. So if you're planning on doing something, tell us. We'd rather know than have it be a surprise. You can surprise everyone else, but not us. Yeah, don't surprise your planner because we just really want to make it work. So chances are we can make it work really well for you if you just let us know about it. If we know about it, exactly. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, what else have we seen? We have seen the guys love to give um, ties and bow ties. So um, Vineyard Vines is one of my favorite. They have such great designs, especially if you're doing something like tropical or even I've seen like for Nashville, like the little cowboy boots on them and everything. Um, so guys are giving that. They give, um, what else? Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> I went right to alcohol and cigars and, uh, and then my mind went blank. <laughs> and you were all over. I think you mentioned like the golf the day before, oh, yeah. um, you know, different excursions, something like that for, for the guys, fishing trips, depending on where you're at. Fishing's always popular. Fishing is very popular. Um, also, Just not deep sea fishing. Yeah. Don't get sick. Because we want to make sure that you come back. Yeah. <laughs> That's for certain. We had um, people do like parasailing, give their group parasailing. That makes for some fun pictures. Jet skis around the islands. That's always fun. Um, girls have received really cool shoes with like the bride signs the bottom of them. I've seen that before. Um, Alex and Annie makes a bridesmaid's bracelet that I have seen before. Yeah, so those are That's a cute great. One. People that collect those love that. Um, what else, what else, what else has been unique? I mean, oh, shaving I think kits. we, we had got, um, Mark oh, and Caitlin, yeah. remember those really great shaving kits that he gave them? Um, they were personalized on the outside of the bag, which was nice. And then he had all kinds of fun stuff inside. Um, what else you were going to say something? Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> No, I was just going to say, I think between everything that we've mentioned, there's been a lot. Um, again, something that shows that you thought about it. My, the lighting in here is really bad. I, oh, maybe it's my hair. There we go. Um, it's always my hair. The, <laughs> you know, something that's personalized um, is always great. Something that they're going to use is great. And um, Again, just make sure you plan ahead and think about it. Put it in your budget. Yes, I'm the person that's always going to tell you to make sure you budget for it. Um, <laughs> make sure it's there because all of a sudden, last minute, you don't want to have somebody ask you, well, what did you get your, your bridesmaids? And you just have this look on your face like, what? Again, Oops. having a planner will definitely help with that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> so. We we had someone give out really nice pashminas for the girls because their dresses were not probably what they would have kept warm on for the evening. So that was nice because they ended up being on a boat. So they had a beautiful pashmina that I ran around and collected once because maybe somebody forgot. <laughs> not me. Um, artwork. So a lot of times if you're in a certain destination, it's always nice to receive. I know personally when I travel somewhere, I love to buy art instead of buying like a t-shirt. So uh, any type of like local artist that either makes a small piece of jewelry or a small piece of art that you can hang on the wall, if you are inviting someone to be an attendant in your wedding and it's at a destination, that will always let them remember where they were um, for your wedding, you know? Yeah, and I think that that's a great thing too. If you're having it at, a, at your wedding at a specific location where it's a nonprofit and they have a gift shop, definitely utilize things that they have there for um, the bridal party gifts. You can also, as Kristen said, some of these kind of go hand in hand, utilize those for favors um, as well. But definitely you can, uh, the artwork that Kristen was talking about, that would be a great gift for a bridal party gift. Yeah, we've done a lot of Hemingway House stuff and Audubon House stuff that, um, you know, obviously says where the location was. A lot of times you can actually get um, even the year on it so people remember it that way. But I don't know. I always like to give something people can look back on. You know, experiences, obviously, those can be videotaped and photographed too. Jewelry most people keep for a lifetime. 
Um, sometimes people are just buying the actual dress for the girls and maybe the shirts for the guys uh, and saying, you know, this is my, my gift to you so you don't have to spend more money coming to my wedding. <laughs> Always, Always an option. I forgot about some really cute sunglasses that one of the brides did and they actually had engraved, you'll remember this, where they were from on the side. So you know how everybody always comes oh, up to you yeah. at a wedding and they're like, hey, where are you from? And then everyone just had to point to their glasses. It was so cute. Yep. I can't remember who that, did that. That was but very I cute. That was super cute. Yeah. So lots of ideas. Um, Etsy obviously is full of ideas. Um, you know, we'll certainly help you out with that. If there's, um, oh, I thought of another one. Uh, coolers. These collapsible coolers someone just did recently with uh, the date and the name on it. And it folded up nice for them to actually travel home in. But who doesn't need a cooler? I know. That was great. I, I personally love that one. Yeah. So that's all I got today. It's been a long day. It's been a long wedding weekend. And um, I'm getting on a plane to go home. <laughs> Finally. All right. Well, that's good. Thank you guys for checking in. I know we weren't on our usual time, but we appreciate you listening to us. Uh, I promise we have lots of great ideas. You can check out our blog, um, our website. If you have questions, you can certainly sign up for a free virtual chat and we'll ha be happy to kind of go through the different ways that we can help you. So we are Destination Wedding Planners. Our website is www.swivelgroupevents.com. And events is plural. Oh, All right. And if you want to, if you want to really like have a great bridal party attendant gift, think about the bridal retreat. Yeah, the bridal bring retreat. Your, bring your whole clan. It kind of encompasses bridal party gift, bachelorette party. It can uh, all of it in one cover look cover a lot we thought about a lot with that one, yeah so. <laughs> and you get a lot accomplished too so that's a good you get thing a lot accomplished you get a lot accomplished all right Aaron thank you have a good night everyone and uh, have a great week we'll talk to you next Sunday all right bye bye